Hey guys, I'm out on the gunks this weekend. I'm trying out the brand new DMM Dragonflies that have just been released last week. I've been using them for a couple of days now and I wanted to give you my first impressions of them. I wanted to start with a few of the things that I like most about them. Um, they've got a nice, clean trigger action that feels really good. They've got a good thumb loop there. They've got the loop there for if you're aid climbing, you can clip your carabiner directly to that. And one of the things that I like about DMM cams is the way they have the adjustable sling. So if you want to adjust and get a bit more length, particularly out here in the gunks, I find a lot of these roots wander around a bit. You can get a little bit of a sling extension off that. These cams are very small. The number one is the smallest size cam that's currently on the market. Um, and I haven't been using that this weekend while I've been climbing. I don't really need something that small in my regular day-to-day -day climbing. Unless you know that you're gonna need something really small, I've only just been carrying the number three with me to supplement my rack. The smallest cam that I used to carry on my harness was the black totem cam. I'm gonna be adding the number three dragonfly to that. The dragonfly is a little bit smaller and it's nice to have one extra small cam on my harness. One of the things that you have to think about when you're using these small cams is the range of movement that you can get out of them. And that means that you have to carry more small cams because a small cam won't be able to fit into a, a crack that is a little bit bigger than it or smaller than it. Compare this to a number three black diamond cam which has a large range of movement. Not, not a difference in the brand, just a difference in the size. You can fit that into a crack that's that big through to about that big. Whereas a very small cam, you can only fit into a crack that's that big to about that big. So you have to carry a lot more small cams to be able to find one that'll fit exactly into the size of the crack that you've got. The thing about these really micro cams is you want to make sure that the rock that you're putting them into is really secure. You don't want to be putting it into a soft rock or something that's flaky that's going to be expanding if you if you try and put an expanding cam in there. Um, sometimes with these micro cracks it's in rock that's not the best quality. Um, so that's one thing that you have to really be concerned about. The last thing that I wanted to show you is a comparison of the Dragon cams against one of the X4s. So I've pulled out my Black Diamond X4 offset here. This is a 0.1 and 0.2 offset. And I've got it side by side with the Dragonfly cams. I've got a number two, which is the red one, and a number three, which is the yellow one. One of the things that I really like about the Dragonfly cams is the way the anodization is only on the sides of the lobes and not on the parts that are actually making contact with the rock, as opposed to the X4 here, which is anodized all over. Uh, that anodization is reducing the, the grippiness of the metal against the rock. One of the other things that I've noticed as well is that the Dragonfly cams, the trigger is a little bit further down on the shaft as opposed to the X4. And uh, the other thing is I've been noticing the size here of the, the small part where the, the trigger wires attach on the number two and also the number one which is green of the dragonflies they're really small they start to get a bit bigger as they as they go up in size but you'll also notice that the size of that bar down the bottom it's no larger than the actual lobes when they're fully retracted so that they won't get stuck on anything these new cams are look fairly much like uh, an alien um, but they don't seem to have any of the quality control issues. You're getting a really good product with DMM. So my overall impression of the DMM Dragonflies has been very positive. Uh, I'm really happy using the number three for free climbing, and I'll be using the number one and two for aid climbing. I went and did a tour of the DMM factory a couple of months ago, and it was really interesting to see how they manufacture all of their components, right through from the research and development side of developing new and innovative gear, right through to the, the everyday activities that they're doing, making equipment for climbers. So if you get the chance, get out to DMM in Wales and do a tour of their factory. And definitely buy a set of the DMM Dragonflies.